I think Les bought the crow. These oh, little birds. Right. Yeah. And then and the owl. And then I just started getting on eBay and Gumtree and um, Foster King and I'll I mean, we put this all together in about a year and a half, two years. That's amazing. You know, Rex helped me, you know, he's sort of, not gothic, but what do you call it? Um, I'm going to say, well, it's pretty gothic, isn't it? Yeah, I, I reckon it's gothic. It's an acquired taste. What's this? Um, just uh, the timber. Yeah. Yeah, we just cleaned it over the, uh, the old shed. What are these? Where are these chairs from? Rex. They remind me of Game of Thrones. They are very Game of Thrones. Very Game of Thrones. Oh, they're very surcy. Uh, yes, they're oh very surcy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this it. video table I've had for about 25 years. This is very special. And the bed we had original and kept it, didn't we, Joe? That yeah. was um, polyform. What is this piece as well? Rex. Another Rex. This piece. Yeah, the Danish furniture was from Rex and this was another piece. You did tell me, but I'm uh, I'm a shocking uh, person for um, remembering these things. I'm trying to figure Looks out like what a, it is. some form of torture. Look this was that. an old French hat. Oh my god! Rex found that. I found a taxidermy, and uh, he found a gilded mirror, and he said, wow. "I've got an idea." And I, that's probably one of my favourite pieces that's that it just beautiful. pops out. Yeah. Liz found uh, the wallpaper. The wallpaper is amazing. Amazing. She found yeah. the wallpaper, and she wanted to do it, so Rex put it up. I love that this is such a little surprise. Packet. You're like, oh, hello, a nice modern touch. See, Rex found this, which is a really one of my favourite oh, no. pieces. Just this would have been in some English hunting mm. lodge, but everything's thought about. A yeah, shelf is. is thought about. No, um, the barn no. door. The barn door is beautiful. Let's go into the shed. Bars. I live for indoor bars to be honest, but um, what a special it's copper, spot. Yeah, copper beaten. And I love copper. how you've done this as well. Yeah, just put up an old sleeper. This, um, These came from a um, place in Sydney who specialises in industrial plumbing fittings. Um, yeah, right. You know, for homes. Yeah, yeah. So, and this will age once again. Yeah, exactly. It's all about the ageing. That came from the museum. Oh, that's amazing. I bought truck for two grand. I think it cost me three grand to bring it down. <laughs> and then we sort of restored it. But that came from Geelong. Ampole, it's just an old oil truck. And uh, I'll show you inside the shed. We actually found underneath the seat its last service uh, yeah. and bits and pieces. And we had it framed. When was its last service? <laughs> about the 70s, I think. Yeah, right. It works, but you wouldn't drive it on the road. <laughs> But it looks good there. It looks fantastic. Um, and I love, you know, you've got yourself a nice prickly pear garden yeah, around no, it I, now. I like that. So How beautiful is that? It's because just, obviously. It now becomes such a feature, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Have you been to Arizona? Like, have you spent uh, much I've, time I did Route 66. Oh, really? A couple of years ago. I, I bet you picked bike. up a couple of things. And I picked up a couple of things. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us about the Airstream. Okay, so the Airstream, I met a fella at Eastern Creek about five years ago. He owned part of Deus, the motorcycle company. There was a couple of partners in it and this particular fellow was uh, getting out of the partnership. So he was selling yeah. a lot of stuff. So we bought the bus really for nothing. I reckon we would have spent about yeah. 150 grand on it. But it, you had to what? do it. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. god. It was just gone. Everything was gone. The motor it had the original motor, but we redid, redid the motor. Yeah. Reconditioned it. Yeah. You can put it on four stands, you know. It's, so if you pull up a caravan park. On if you stands, pulled up in a caravan park with this, like mental. I feel like everyone, the crowds would oh. gather. Like, <laughs> you know, you'd be times, like an ice cream truck. <laughs> the times I've driven it through the streets, everyone goes crazy. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. And at night. You get so much joy from oh, people. It's fantastic. I love Oh. And that's what it's all about now. I just think when you get to my age, you I love sharing it. Yeah. And you know, people just, you know, we just let them do. The kids jump in it, but it's, oh my gosh. it's just fantastic. But we've geared it up, you know, it's got the TV, the shower and toilet work. Yeah. Everything works in there. But it just costs so much to do these things up yeah. because they're nothing around like them. And um, yeah, you do it for the love. I mean, we put the canopies up. The canopy uh, looks great. Yeah, actually. there's one this side, there's one on the other, and yeah. there's one little back one. We came across a couple of guys that had pieces and there was this guy in Sorrento a couple of years ago. He was at the back of Sorrento and he had a heap of pieces and he was selling everything and this was one of the pieces. So this is an old, you know, architectural, yeah. you know, 
Oh, so we picked up rooms. this, we picked up a lot of logs, a lot of stuff, yeah. which I'll show you. It goes so nicely with yeah. that, uh, yeah. Yeah, we picked up a bit of taxi journey from him. Yeah, There's really? some of the uh, oh, wow. cars we own and what we sort of race. So. Look at Peter Brock. They're beautiful, those posters, they're phenomenal. Yeah, that's sort of, oh, that's my race car, that's me there. But, so there's just a whole heap of race cars. That's that phenomenal. Race. So, what is that? That is uh, a mate of mine, John Bow, who races in Touring Car Masters. And he raced that uh, car, which is a very famous car called Mustang Sally. And he raced that, um, yeah, in Touring Car Masters. That's He's got beautiful. his own. Whip. Is that a drawing? Or what is that? Uh, it's a sketch. Yep. Sketch? Yep. Gosh, that's yeah. beautiful. very excited by all the typography like I just love the signs I love I can't stop looking at all the different oh, the lettering is just amazing actually that song just picked up that sign from you know there's a place in Castle Maine a very famous oh, yeah. uh, uh, antique and relics and automobilia oh, right. okay. massive place in Castle Maine I can't yeah. remember the name that was probably the last piece I got I remember we went to a market and uh, just down at Flinders this guy had heaps of tennis rackets. Oh my god! So I don't know why I just liked them. <laughs> so I bought them and I wanted to put them here somewhere. So, and that was only about six I months ago. I don't know why, but I just got them. Oh my god! I just thought I've got to have those rackets. So <laughs> this came from that guy in Sorrento, and I've you know, oh a couple of people. Gosh, and that's right. And I remember it. at Sorrento, uh, at Flinders, there was a guy selling trash and treasure. Yeah. I'm the world's worst handyman, but I bought all these tools. But these are really old, you know, old planers and square. So I just bought them. Oh my uh, you gosh. Know. You must be in trouble now that you can purchase things with your phone. Because I feel like oh, you would have to like physically. Oh, but I've run out now. <laughs> yeah. I've really, yeah. Uh, um, tell me about Moose this guy. Was... Johnny, go up to Moosey. How good is that, Moose? It reminds me of that ad that we see on TV, you know, when they when he talks about Oh, yeah? Stuff. And what, they what steal. is that advertising again? Oh, it's insurance. It's insurance. How bad is that? I don't even know. I just remember the moose. Yeah, so, um, so when did you get the moose? The moose came out of fossil as well. Oh my gosh, again. <laughs> again? Uh, probably about two years ago. This guy? Jeep came out of eBay. It works. Tell you what, the things you can get on eBay. It's amazing. It, uh, it works. Um, I can kick it it's over. It's in good it's condition. All... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've driven it around. A lot of the military amazing. stuff that's on it and sort of behind you came out of that Cowra War War yeah, Museum. Right. Um, and a lot of ammunition boxes. Wow. This came from that guy in Sorrento. Oh. So this is an old, you know, you would have had screws and nuts yeah, and yeah, all, yeah. all that all hardware stuff. This was a very famous piece out of, this was out of Darling Harbour, but that came out of that museum. Oh my God, the Terminator 2. I like the fact, I like your um, styling. I like how everything's put together. <laughs> that came uh, from uh, a guy who has a pinball machine uh, business in Williamstown. There's grandkids. So I hate karaoke, There's but so the grandkids. There oh, is. Yeah. They're is all railway that? tickets. <gasps> Melbourne oh railway my tickets. Gosh. Hang on, so what? How did this even like? Well, this, ca this came out of the museum as well. This museum, if you like, I can tell you, oh it was a three day auction. Railway Crossing came from uh, the uh, War Museum as well. So anything with an engine, anything with like movement, you're like drawn to. I love, I, I love history. Steel? Um, <laughs> yeah, and steel. It's probably that combination, but, but just, you know, just different stuff. Piece. It's a beautiful piece. These little mini bikes came all the way from Las Vegas. Really? Uh, at a Meekum auction. I went to one of those crazy Meekum auctions you see on TV. Yeah. I bought some mini bikes and some motorbikes. These mini bikes are all fairly rare. This was a, a centerpiece at that auction. This is really, really quite rare. We had to hoist that up with a crane. That is the symbol or, um, for case tractors in America. So that is really, really rare. Where was that from? That would be, yeah, that's their emblem. Um, so that would have been on a building, uh, one of their wow. buildings, case tractors. Super heavy, it's just cast iron. Yeah. To get it up there, so it's their logo, their symbol. That is one of my cars. 
up there. So that's an AC. It's a schematic drawing of one of my. So when did you start like driving fast cars? I think Always. Since, since I was 18, but I never got into racing until probably about 10 years ago. Yeah, right. Okay. Then I got into racing about 10 years ago, so quite late. But probably the last 10 years, I probably spent most of the kids' inheritance. <laughs> car or bike? If car you could only choose one, pieces, what would you do? Them. Would you go uh, bike or car? Couldn't split them. As I said, I got about 40 motorcycles at <laughs> work. <laughs> All these taxidermy, yeah, these came from Perth. On Gumtree? Seriously? Yeah, I, seriously? I feel like I'm not looking where you're looking on Gumtree. Go to Gumtree. <laughs> oh, I see this stuff all the time. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing. always looking at it. Oh, is this Reg? This Reg Rom yeah. is Mombasa. Yeah, Absolutely. beautiful. And I'll tell you the story about that. Because I'm in the steel industry, there was maybe 99 or 2000, Blue Scope had this Ardon steel going around oh, all around right. Australia. Everything went to the SES. A lot of paintings done by Rolf Harris, David Dalton, Mirka Moira. And, and what I, about this Punching Judy? Yeah, Punching Judy, look, that's a funny piece. Aussie artist, Drew Gregory. 96. And he still paints. When the kids were at high school, yeah. it was at a high school charity, Archo. This is an amazing piece. This is a big search life of a ship oh that used God. to be in the Suez Canal. Another shop that I, I've used, a little shop called Used, We're and that's in that. Collingwood. It's an amazing. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. It is amazing. <laughs> do you ever do that at night? Just no. Just like weird people out. <laughs> Shoot it out across the, up to the hill on that the glass wow. house. <laughs> oh, I can't look directly at it. <laughs> What's your favorite piece, Liz? I, I like everything. Are you just like, oh my gosh, here's another piece. Where's it gonna um, go? Yeah, yeah. A lot come in at the last minute. And, oh, ah, I got something else. As if Joe just pops out. Or no, something. It's like, oh God, what's going to happen? We've been married 40 years I'm next year. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. We know each other pretty well. Oh, Crazy. <laughs> have you bought particular pieces in, or are you more the decor side of things? Yeah, no, you like? probably more the yeah. decorating. Like, it's a, it's a full different, drawer, different. which is really rare. Yeah, yeah. So you, you'd have probably haberdashery, ladies, sort of men's, and I'd, I'd say that'd be probably kitchen. It oh, came out of New York. Yes. But we bought that at that war museum as well. It was uh, a lot of people after that because it's quite rare. Had yeah. it a little bit restored as much as we could. But yeah, you've just got the different departments and you've got the keys. Oh. So it was sort of the first. You know, you think about um, computers and things like that. But um, Oh my gosh, that's amazing, it isn't is. it? So sorry, where did you purchase this for? At the Carrow War Museum. He had million signs, uh, wow. porcelain signs, a lot of farm implements. He had a couple of tanks. Yeah. It was three days. Imagine three days. 10 hour days and well, millions of people. What do you think, like, because Australia, I mean, we're so relatively young, young. Yeah. in com comparison to everyone. This other. guy was a massive collector. Right. So he's collected over his years and wow. he just offloaded. That pump came from him as well. He would have had something like 70 pumps. Oh my God, Bruce Springsteen, sorry, and now I just got sidetracked. <laughs> Is that signed by yeah, Bruce Springsteen? Yeah. I think I bought that at one of those crazy auctions you go to. Oh my gosh. I love many, it. Many, many years ago. So this is a nice special space as well. Yeah, it is a great space because you can open it all up. Oh, I love the fact that you've just done this too. This the, um, is Rex Roseburg. It's from vintage, history vintage. It did the floor, furniture came from him. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really nice. You've got to try this chair. Rex has got amazing pieces. I, now, he's a Dutchman, so I think oh this my, would have... Oh my gosh. How good is that? Most comfortable chair I've ever sat on. You wouldn't ever get out of it. Oh, and you're this matching colour. There's a matching <laughs> colour. Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. Gosh, and all this is, furniture this came really, out of here. Very special, like driving yeah. in here. It's an interesting drive because there's so much, there's a lot of energy around this this area with yeah. the wineries and with the there local is, shops, yeah. but then you kind of get to that pocket where it's a bit more wooded and you don't know yeah. what to expect and you, you come through here. So it's a lot Especially lovely, here um, because... You're tucked away. Yeah, yeah you are, aren't mm -hmm. you? And where'd you get that from? I'm the five pig. a good five pig, uh, yeah. My ne uh, neighbour, that was about 1,200 bucks. What, makes them? Uh, yeah, just yeah. just. Right. Here. Note to sell. And who did the landscaping again? Colin Hyde Design. Because it's very well. structured and sculptural yes. in itself. Yep. Like so it's he's done, it's he's... really interesting. And he's framed your pieces like yeah. artworks yeah, yeah. and with the trucks he's and fantastic. with um, the press. We did it all in mainly succulents and dry because obviously of our climate. <laughs> Thank you.
Would have been here three years uh, last December. This would only be probably a year old, and all this bottom would have been about seven months old. So before. look, it's Jono. Jono, look, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys only arrived on Monday, so I came up with the idea with a platform, and this was all just obviously just landscape. So you this. built this specifically for these oh, yeah, Gilly for this, and yeah. Mark pieces. Absolutely. What are we talking They're about? They're bronze. Oh they're about gosh. 300 kilos each. The Gillian Mark thing, and I'm, I stand to be corrected, but they've got a couple of either one or two dogs, and they're um, Waimaranas. They're to the face. A couple of mini justice. donkeys. Oh, what? Of course there are. Are they yours? Yeah. So tell me you just picked them up too, did you? I bought them about three <laughs> years ago. I've always wanted a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy! That's what they come to. <laughs> hey boys! What are they named? Are you ready? Yeah. Romeo. Romeo. And Giovanni. Oh, I love it. I look, you're beautiful. And these guys live a, a life of luxury. Five paddocks to rotate. <gasps> They're about four years old now. I just wanted to have a couple of donkeys for the grandkids. How many grandkids do you have? I've got two girls. They must love coming here. They do, yeah. They are just absolutely gorgeous. Tell you what, when, when it's all over, they might end up in there. <laughs> well, do you know how long they live for? I didn't know. How long do they live for? 35 to 50 years. Oh, really? Oh, Okay. And they're both right, geldings, right. and you've always got to try to get geldings, and they're mates for life. You can't separate them. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you have any other animals here? Three Apart dogs. from the dogs. We've always had oh. Dobermans, but then we got these guys. We went to a holiday in Italy back when I was 50, and uh, there's a couple of guys that we saved uh, with at their farm, yeah. and they had about five of these dogs. I've, I've never even heard of them. So then you're like, guess what? I'm I gonna want buy one. Those dogs. <laughs> <laughs> So they're called Norse folk terriers. So I thought, I want one. You're giving me all the feels. I saw a puppy on Facebook today and I told Johnny to get one and he told me I was being too, it's been too quick. Too quick. But oh, I reckon no. you're one of those I'm impulsive honest, people. Joking. Two seconds it takes exactly. me to make up my mind. <laughs> So this, um, so we are a company that uh, manufactures building products and this used to be an old John Heine press that used to press out brackets for uh, some of our roofing. We actually bought this little business about 15 years ago and he had this press and it was still working and then we moved it and modernised the business and, and I said I just cannot throw that press no. out. Still using life. it though 15 years ago? Yeah, or it was yeah, still... yeah, 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 yeah. he modernised it. There's a little uh, foot pedal here. You can oh, wow. see how they've... Uh, Attached, uh, not much health and safety. Uh, <laughs> Just the colours and it oh, must... Um, it will age beautifully. It will age, yeah, really well. History, so you don't see these things and... You know, you, you take this to a scrapyard, what a waste. What what? It's just yeah, sacrilege. Oh, absolutely. I can't wipe the smile off my face. Oh, well, I'm, <laughs> it's, I'm, like a, I'm like a little kid again. This is just... Uh, I just think it's amazing. Yeah. Me confidence to buy that puppy. Oh, you just do it. <laughs> just do it. You only live once. Remember oh. that Nike ad? Just do it. Just do it. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> I think they're still running it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, probably most I've successful that, campaign ever. <laughs> I've used it many, many times that ad. Just do it. In fact, we had it for oh, our so uh, you're still blaming company. Nike for every purchase. You're like, well. Nike marketing. I actually started hiding stuff from Liz, but 